Welcome to Indian Online School. Today we are here to discuss some of the sample papers from the previous exams, which would help you in the upcoming Olympiad exams. So today I'm going to share with you the grade two sample paper. The first question, select the odd one out. Over here, if we just see, what is the odd one out over here? Z, T, I, and G. If we just look into these, the only one which is symmetric, vertically symmetrical is I. Okay? We have two ways of putting I as an odd one out. The first one, the only alphabet which is vertically symmetrical is I. Secondly, I is the only vowel here, whereas rest of them are consonants. So, I is the answer. Question number two, which of the following monkey is third to the right of fifth monkey from the right end? Fifth from the right end. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth monkey from the right end is Z. Third to the right of it. Third to the right of it. Again, we'll move rightwards. Third to the right first, second, third. That's monkey T. Hence, T is our answer. Next question number three. How many groups of four toys can be formed? In such type of questions, we just need to count the number of parts. One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus eight, sixteen. If you have to make them in groups of four, 16 divided by four, that's four as the answer. Next question. If this is related to X, that means the carpenter related with an X over here. So in the same way, painter will be related to the paint brush. Option C is our answer. Question number five. We have to find the missing number in such a way that a certain rule is followed row wise and column wise. What can be the rule? What can be the rule over here when a row wise and column wise it is followed? See, what's the rule? Let's try adding up first. 18 plus 15, that's how much? 18 plus 15, if we try adding, okay, we can check it column wise over here. See, let's do it column wise. 18 plus 6 is 24, 15 plus 3 is 18, so 14 plus how much gives you 20? 14 plus 6, so 6 is the answer option B. Next question number 6, and how many different ways are there for the butterfly? How many different ways for the butterfly are there to reach the flower? You just need to follow the arrows. This is the first. Okay. This is the second one. And this is third one. Straight, upright, and then coming vertically down. So option D, 3 is the answer. Next question. Which of the following looks like a cone? Very easy. The ice cream cone. Option C is the answer. Next question number 8. Follow the pattern and tell the number of guitars in pattern 5. In the first pattern, we have one guitar. In the second pattern, we have three guitars increased by two. In the third pattern, it's three plus two, five guitars. So basically, it's increasing by five. So in the fourth pattern, five plus two, seven. And in the fifth pattern, five, seven plus two, nine. Option B, nine is the answer. Which of the following clock shows time 10 minutes to 8? 10 minutes to 8 means 7.50. Which of the clock shows that time? Option C, the third clock. Question number 10. If bulb is called fan, fan is called torch, torch is called table. What gives a school year? The fan gives a school year, but fan is called torch. So option C, the torch is the answer. Question number 11. Question number 11. The number, find the sum of the two numbers shown on both the abacuses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 642 plus 642 plus 323. If you add this, 3 plus 2, 5. 4 plus 2, 6. 4 plus 3, 7. 700 and, sorry, 6 plus 3, 9. 965. Option C is answered. Next question number 12. 8 degrees Celsius more than the temperature shown on the given thermometer. What is the temperature shown on the given thermometer? Exactly between 40 and 60, that's 50. 8 degrees more than that, that's 58. Option B as the answer. 
Next, which of the following shapes is missing in the given figure? Do we have a square? Yes, the yellow portion, that's a square. Do we have a rectangle? Yes, this whole thing is a rectangle, okay? Do we have a circle? No, we don't find circles anywhere. These are semicircles. So, option C, circle is missing. Which of the following numbers is not present on the tree? What's the first number? 105. Present on the tree? Yes. 448. Is it anywhere on the tree? No. Hence, this is the missing number. 305. Again, it's here. 900 is here. So, option B is the answer. That's not present on the tree. Next question, Rithik bought the given items. The total money of, the total amount of money that has to be paid by him is how much? Add them up, 75 plus 50, that's 125. 125 plus 35, that's 160. 160 plus 90, that gives you 250. Option C is the answer. Next question, why not put five cookies in the box for sale in each of the box. How many cookies did he put, use to put in all the five boxes? If he's putting five cookies in each box, so in five boxes he'll put five, five times, that's 25. Option D as our answer. Next, this is the pictograph for the next upcoming two questions. So the first question, find the total number of cows that, are, that all the milkmen bought. What's the total number of pictures? One, two, three. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 9 plus 5, that's 14. 14, 2 times is how much? 28. Why 2 times? Because each picture stands for 2 cows. So, 28 option A is the answer. The next question, how many more cows does each milkman S, does milkman S buy than milkman Q? What's the difference? 4 over here, 5 over here. Difference of one symbol. One symbol stands for two cows. So two. So two cows. Option C is the answer. Two cows. Option C is the answer. Okay, everyone. Next question number nineteen. Question number nineteen says, if Rashi goes to picnic on every Saturday and Sunday in the month of September, then how many days for? Did she go for a picnic in that particular month? How many Saturdays? One, two, three, four, and five Saturdays. And how many Sundays? Four Sundays. So five plus four, nine days we went to the picnic. So nine is the answer. Option B. Next question. What is the weight of one mango? What does the picture show? 100 grams plus two mango is equals to 200 plus 200. 400, 600, 800 grams. 100 grams plus 2 mangoes is 800 grams. That means for 2 mangoes, how much left? 100 minus 100 deducted from 800. That's 700 grams. If 2 mangoes is 700 grams, 1 mango is half of 700. That's 350 option B again. Next question number 21. On a bookshelf, 30 comic books, 45 English books, and 18 math books are there. How many total number of books? Simply add all of them. That gives you 8 plus 5, 13. 3 carry 1. 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus 1, 8. Plus 1, 9. 93. Option D is the answer. <coughs> Next question. Rohit wants to buy the given items. How much money will he need all in total? We just need to add the prices of all the items. 120. Plus 250, that's 370. Plus 310 again, that's 680. Option A is our answer. Next question. Ruchi planted some plants in the garden. The number of plants planted by her is more than 340. Okay, more than 340. All the options apart from D is more than 340. The number of plants planted by more, her is more than 340 and has 6 at the 10th place. More than 340 and has 6 at the 10th place. Which of them has 6 at the 10th place? All of them have 6 at the 10th place. That means all of these are possible. Which of the following cannot be planted by her? Then option D because that's less than 340. That's our answer. The next question reads, Kanika is 11 years old and her brother is Sahil who is 15 years old. How much older is Sahil than Kanika? The difference, 15 minus 11, that's 
four as the answer. So four years, option C is the answer. Next question. Priya bought three juice packs and two milk bottles. Three milk, three packs of juice and two milk bottles. Total quantity. Three packs of juice means three into two, six liters. And two milk bottles means two into one, two liters. Six plus two, eight liters. Option A is the answer. Question number 26. Varun saw the given painting in a shop. How many triangles did Varun see in the picture? One, two, three, four over here. This is the fifth one. This is the sixth one. And this one, seven. So seven, option B is the answer. The next question. A wildlife park had 350 elephants, okay? Out of his 35 were sent to the zoo. How many elephants were left? 350 minus 35. If you subtract, that would be 315. Option B. Next, question number 28. Ahmed's school was closed for five days, okay? Every day he had two fun activities based on mathematics. How many total activities he did during the holidays? School was closed for five days. Every day he did two. That means five, two times, ten activities he did during his holidays. Option B. Question number 29. 72 liters of water a tank contained. Shikha drained 47 liters of it through the tap. How much tank, how much water left in the tank? 72 minus 47. If you subtract 47 from 72, that would give you 12 minus 7, 5. 7 will become 6 minus 4, 2. 25 liters, option A. Next question, number 30. Anurag drew the given shape. How many corners are there in the given shape? Let's count the corners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 edges or corners. That's 12, option A as the answer. Moving on to the 31st question. The 31st question reads, fill in the blanks and select the correct option. The first clock, what's the time shown in the clock? 7.30, that's half past 7. Present in option B and C. So our possible answers is option B and C. The next clock shows 4.10, that's 10 minutes past 4. Option C, present in option C. And the third clock shows... 5.50 or 10 minutes to 6 again over here. So option C is our correct answer. Next question number 32. You have to identify the three-digit number using the clues given. The digit at the tens place is two less than the digit at ones place. Over here in the first option, digit at ones place is eight. Is it two less? No. Eliminated. Eight. Is it two less? Yes. Possible. Nine. Is it two less? Yes. Possible. 9 and 1. Is it 2 less? No. Eliminated. So we are left with two options, B and C. The next question reads, the digit at once place is the greatest one digit number. What's the greatest one digit number? 9. Over here we have 8 eliminated. So answer is 579. That's option C. Question number 33. Read the given statement carefully. Read the given statement carefully. And select the correct option. We have two figures over here, P and Q. The question, the first option reads, number of slanting lines and figure P is 7. Is it 7? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So it's wrong. Next, total number of horizontal lines in both the figures is 15. Are the horizontal lines 15? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, 8 in this one, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Total of horizontal lines including both the figures is 13. So that's also incorrect. That's also incorrect. Moving on to the next one, A and B already gone. Number of vertical lines in figure Q is 0. Is it 0? Yes, because figure Q is completely made up of slanting as well as sleeping lines or horizontal lines. There are no vertical lines, so option C is correct, hence that's the answer. Next, question number 34 wants you to find out which of the following thermometers shows the, 
shows the difference between the temperatures as shown in the given two thermometers. What's the temperature over here? Between exactly between 40 and 80. That's 60. And what's the temperature over here? Between 100 and 80. That's 90. So what's the difference among both the temperatures? 90 minus 60. That's 30. Where do you have it? Option B over here. Exactly between 20 and 40. That's 30. Option B as the answer. Next question number 35 wants you to find out the incorrect option. The number 810 is same as 800s and 110s. Correct. The smallest three digit number is 100. That's also correct. 580 is greater than 5, 5910s. 580 is greater than 5910s. 5910s means 590. Is 580 greater than 590? No. That's incorrect. Hence, that's our required answer. With this, we complete our paper.